Hi folks, well you've caught me again. I'm just here, I've just got my wheel cleaned up here and I'm just about to throw some porcelain here on this wheel. Um, I've done a couple there as you can see, just going to make some porcelain tea bowls. So without further ado, let's get down there where the action is. Just going to get the camera there. That's right, yep, good. So, the old wheel. Yeah, I fancy throwing some porcelain. In fact, it's my student this week, Christy, from Connecticut. She, she's the one who got me into this. So, I thought, yeah, why not? Well, I've got some, got some bags of porcelain there, so, Why not? So we cleaned up the wheel. It was actually a bit on the hard side, but we mixed some softer in with it. And uh, so this is the porcelain. And porcelain throws pretty much the same as regular clay. It's a little softer in some ways, maybe a bit more thirsty. Very soft and smooth on your on your hands. So these are gonna be some teacups, drinking drinking cups. This is actually I get this porcelain clay from my local clay supplier and I don't really pay hardly anything more for this than I do for my regular stoneware body. So it's... Sponge him out. Bit of leather. And do be careful with the leather, folks, when you use it. You only just, like, caress it. Now you may have noticed, I don't know if you did, but on the on the side here where I put these down, I, I put the put them down on pieces of newspaper. Put down your pieces of throne, porcelain on a piece of newspaper. Supposed to um, stop it, stop them cr cracking in the bases. They can be a bit, you see they're a bit quite sort of soft, aren't they? Pop him there. Next one. I'm actually working on my other leech wheel, which has a different feel to it and it has a heavier, a heavier flywheel, this one, so it, just takes a little bit more effort to get the thing started, but once it's going, it's great. So, la la la. I like making. Uh, the you know me drinking cups, whatever you want to call them. They they're really not measured. I don't really measure them. I don't. I kind of weigh them out in my hands, so they're roughly the same. And um, there's a sort of freedom about making them, which I I kind of like. They have a sort of certain profile or design. They don't have to be, you see. I mean, like you see me do this one now, it's just the same as the one I've done before, but some I will close them in a bit more there, give them a bit more of a straighter side, like that one. You see? 
You don't have to. And it's kind of nice sometimes to have a little bit of that freedom to be able to do that. These will be, of course, um, trimmed afterwards. See how that deforms? But we don't worry about that. Just put it back on the on the board and it's, it goes round again. It's nice to be working with the clay so white after the after the stone there. I get on a slightly sort of tapered lip here, but tapered from the inside to the outside. If you follow me, it's just that it, it's nicer to drink out of something that's a little bit thinner, just on the just on the on the lip there. If you work in porcelain, but if you have the opportunity, give it a try. And above everything else, KP, as they say, keep practicing. It's the secret. You'll improve your throwing no end if you just, instead of doing eight or ten or something, do 28, or 38. I find it'll make all the difference. Okay, folks. See you around.